Good morning and welcome to the Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum. I'm so thrilled to be here in their beautiful, beautiful outdoor oars and the, in, in front of the wonderful exhibit that they have here now on the transatlantic slave trade. Um, what I really want to talk about and let you all know is that there's some events that are going to happen November 11th to 14th. But what's really special about it is three museums collaborated to bring these free events to our community. Um, the Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum, Davenport House Museum, and the Andrew Lowe House Museum. And without further ado, each of the, um, the directors of those three museums are going to be speaking to you this morning. The Davenport House is part of a collaborative of three museums, uh, the Ships of Sea Maritime Museum, the Andrew Lowe House, and the Davenport House Museum. And often we try to collaborate on programming. Well, this year um, we've taken that to a new level and we're celebrating the uh, monumental uh, uh, exhibit here at Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum and providing programs that take that story out into the community or bring people in here so that they will actually get a chance to see the exhibit. So just know that on November the 11th, um, at 6.30, uh, Queen Quest, this of the Gullah Geechee Nation, will be presenting a program um, that will um, be very, very impactful for people. It's free and open to the public. Then on, um, on a Friday, um, November the uh, 12th, uh, Sawande Muskegon of uh, Washington University at St. Louis is going to provide a keynote address on her monumental work called uh, Slavery at Sea um, uh, with um, new research about the Middle Passage and, and, how, and the impact that had on the international slave trade. So uh, very, uh, we find very important and revelational sort of programming for our community all free and open to the public. Um, and all of that information can be gathered um, through the museum's website, Historic Savannah Foundation website. Um, and there's going to be lots of media out in the community. We'd love to talk with you about that. Um, so call any of our museums and our staff will be happy to engage you with that. Hello. My name is Wendy Melton and I am the Interim Executive Director and Curator for Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum. Um, we are currently featuring an exhibit on Savannah's role in the African diaspora. At the museum we typically endeavor to celebrate um, Savannah's illustrious maritime history, a history that includes the first steamship to cross the Atlantic Ocean, the construction of over 80 Liberty ships during World War II, and the second largest port on the eastern seaboard. However, it, we also have to recognize aspects of our history which are not so illustrious, such as Savannah's role in the transatlantic slave trade. The transatlantic slave trade was the largest forced migration in history and stands as history's greatest maritime tragedy. As a result of the slave trade, American societies were influenced by rich African heritage which forged new cultures and extraordinary art forms. And through this Partners in Preservation series, we are attempting to recognize and honor those contributions. On Thursday, November 11th, the museum will be hosting a very special concert and program by Queen Quet, leader of the Gullah Geechee Nation. We start at 6.30 p.m. with free admission. And on Sunday, November 14th, the museum will feature an Imbira building workshop. The Imbira is also known as the West African Thumb Piano. Um, the the um, workshop will be led by our Director Emeritus Tony Pizzo who has extensive knowledge in the construction of West African instruments and it will occur between 1 and 3.30 p.m. It is also free to the public but we are limited to 20 participants so please see our website at shipsofthesea.org for more information on how you can register for that. Thank you. Hello, I'm Rebecca Eddins, Executive Director of the Andrew Lohaus Museum. The Andrew Lohaus Museum is pleased to host Tasting Traditions, a program that explores and celebrates African American culinary traditions. On November 13th, historian Bonnette Good Walker will present a brief lecture on Mosiana Millage. Millage is a fascinating woman who lived at the site during the 19th century and worked for the Lowe family and later worked as a cook for Juliet Gordon Lowe. The program will also feature Sally Ann Robinson, cookbook author, who will be preparing recipes inspired by 19th century African-American cooking. 
participants um, of the program will be able to sample Sally Ann's dishes. The museum is thrilled to collaborate on this year's series with our partners, the Davenport House Museum and Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum. As a participant in the series, the museum honors the contributions of the enslaved and, the descendant, and their descendants to the culture and tradition of coastal Georgia. We're especially proud that we can offer this program free to the public. With the generous support of the Arts and Cultural Enrichment Grant from the City of Savannah, and also assistance from Georgia Humanities. I am Dr. Amir Jamal Ture, the greatest promoter and the greatest educator of Gullah Geechee culture around the entire world is Queen Quet, the chiefess of the Gullah Geechee Nation. And we're honored to have her in Savannah always, always honored to have her in the low country of Georgia. Again, this is the person that promotes our culture and advocates on behalf of us, regardless of where you are. If you're in Switzerland, in Africa, the Caribbean, Mexico, the United States, or Canada. Queen Quet, chiefess of the Gullah Geechee Nation. So like a mortal happy like a mortal a long way from home. Now, people are going to show what's the empire. They're not studying. Who believes you? And I will be ancestors. The evil, my thinker, my linky, brother, easy, mindy, candy, it's me, it's me, it's you. And I tell them, right here, down there, on the river. Oh, I are the rest. The evil, can't be on the evil last one, you quick. Even if it's your day, the spirit still be there. Oh, I wait till we have the end with the wife. Still, be slave by the book of them. But if I ask the bullion, oh, come here. In the belly of the beast, there be bored. Wait, touch. There be bored. Be spirited. There be bored. Be blood. Sweat. Yes! And I'm going to be a crowd! Because it's very moralist, children. They're in there. Oh, but when they can't cross the street, we do it and children call it in and say, real passage. You call the Atlantic. Oh, we know what say. And we go on to the shore. And we dare to shout to the police. If we yell with you, it's in the morning. They know what to say. When they yell, we don't crack the teeth. So, God of the mama, tell them. All of them go on dead. They in the middle of the passage, go on, go on. So even this your day, when you come to SAP, when I have a yeti from me, and you have that chance to do so. November 11th, 6.30 p.m. at Ship of the Sea. I'm Queen Quest. Chieftains and head upon the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation. I invite you, join me, right here, at ships of the sea. You see, this ship has the middle broken out. Like the middle passage broke out a lot of the soul and the spirit. And some would write and say that all the children of Mother Africa in North America lost their culture lost their traditions but i say to you come learn the truth as pioneers in preservation destroy that myth 
we have a weekend filled with enlightenment, enrichment, and most of all, empowerment. Because we know who we be. We be Gullah Geechee. And right ya, we free. We broke this ship. Now you come break in to the real truth and legacy of our story beyond the transatlantic journey and that story that they sell you just about slavery. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh, by me. And before I be a slave, I will be buried my grave and white to my God and be 